What's going on here, Mama? I don't want any more puppies. Honestly. But what's going on here? The universe has it in for me. <laughs> So back in late 2023, a mysterious puppy arrived in our garden. Daniela named her Luna. It just so happened to be a vet outreach clinic on the island. So the next day we arranged to get Luna a check over, basic deworming, de flea treatments. She was also checked for heartworm and given an annual vaccination against all the nasties. That evening she became more comfortable with her surroundings and more comfortable around us. Things were going to be great it seemed. Now nobody was to know what would happen next, but over the course of the next two nights Luna started to have okay. seizures and fits which lasted a few minutes at a time. Unfortunately on night two she had a fit which lasted several hours. This fit would shape the rest of her life and ours. Whether the fits were caused by a rare reaction to the vaccines or something underlying which she'd already been experiencing, we will never know. Although we have our suspicions as one of our cats, Leo, had experienced a neurological reaction to a previous treatment which contained a common ingredient. So the next six months or so were taken up with around the clock care and attempted rehabilitation, working on the proviso that any recovery from a brain injury would most likely occur in this period of time. The brain injury was caused by a lack of oxygen to the brain during the extended seizure on night two. Luna did however suffer some minor setbacks and smaller episodes which were treated with diazepam. Unfortunately, she never recovered enough to be independent, but we feel that she shows enough to enjoy aspects of life. It isn't ideal at all, but she's loved immensely and shows signs of love back in her own unique ways. We know that it's unlikely to be a long life, and when the time comes, we will know. We cherish the moments that we get to spend with her. This is the story of Luna. Come on and get her, she's going to get dizzy. So here we are, present day, just going to try and show you what an average day is in the life of Luna and the care that she needs. Obviously we do do things slightly differently sometimes for a change, um, but yeah, this is just a standard day. I would like to give a big shout out to Daniela, who's obviously the primary caregiver when I'm working on the house. Um, the level of love and care that she shows for Luna is uh, un unrivaled um, and I know a lot of it she does for me because I'm emotionally attached to Luna because yeah she's just a beautiful soul. Thank you Daniela. Right so when she wakes up in the morning she likes to go for a bit of a walk and do a business but sometimes it takes her a while to get warmed up for the brain and the muscles to register what needs to happen and then before you know it it's breakfast time but I persevere or Daniela perseveres and uh, yeah we try and get a few meters into those legs before she has breakfast so there will be the inevitable fall or two until she gets some memory back into those legs after a long night's sleep. Everybody watching the action. That's where the magic's happening. This is morning feeding. Luna getting her bib on. We'll try and keep her head down, otherwise the fluid's going to go into the lungs. So Daniela tends to try and start her off on a 
syringe and then hopefully she'll um, start drinking herself but with trying to keep the head down. This is one of her favourite times of the day. That's Daniela's favourite time, not Luna's. <laughs> You can spend quality mother-daughter time together. So she's got a gruel, which is um, the juice from the livers. And Daniela mixes eggs and coconut milk with that. Then she got some dog food. She's got some dog biscuits, plenty of papaya. It's mango. Oh, man mango. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never heard of mango. Yeah. And steak. And fat. So she's got a very varied diet going on this morning. <laughs> she always has a varied diet. I can't see my screen because of the sun. Not a big fan of mango. Yeah, she likes mango too big. Not a big fan of mango. There's some steak. I will. Vegetarian dog. Oh, that nice bit of beef steak. She likes that. So, yeah, this is morning routine, so she gets a bit of sun in the morning now, get a vitamin D in, warm her up. She had a nice sleep. She didn't do much walking with me, so we'll see if she does a little bit more walking in a minute. And then it'll be cuddle time. Coffee cuddle time. So explain what's happening here, Daniela. <laughs> she likes to doze up. So she's fallen asleep whilst eating basically, or falling asleep yeah. whilst eating. Look at her. There, there go the eyes. Bless her. <laughs> Don't we eating? We are eating. Yeah, we are eating. Eating. You got to be eating still. Good girl. <laughs> Almost finished. Uni, come on. Uni. We are eating, we are still eating, we are not sleeping. <laughs> Don't you come on. I think the warmth of the sun. Come on, good girl. And the joy of food hitting the belly. <laughs> come on. It's all a bit too much for her. We are still eating. No, we are not sleeping. We are eating. Come on, my little lizard. <laughs> Luni, come on. So we're brushing teeth once a day. This is a tooth powder which I picked up in America the other month. It cost me $45 for this little tiny pot. So Looney's the only one who has the privilege of having it because she obviously doesn't chew on toys or pick sticks up or munch on bones to clean the plaque off her teeth so what with the episode we have with Menace having his tooth removed um, because he got rotten out this one has a teeth brushed every day does she enjoy having her teeth brushed every day Daniela? Twice a day. Twice, all twice oh, a day. Oh, she's used to it now. She's used to it now. So. Oops. Oh, oh look. <laughs> Biting her bamboo toothbrush. No. No. Good girl. Good girl. Uh, here comes the cleaner. <laughs> she wants to clean herself. But yeah. She's having a bit of a wipe down now. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> yeah, she, that happens, Looney. She obviously not that keen on her wipe down. 
yeah, because she can't sit there and wipe all the food off of herself with her tongue, don't lick herself, she has to have a bit of a clean down. Then she's going to get up and hopefully have a burp to get all that trapped wind, and then she can have a bit of a walkies, hopefully. So burp time, apparently. <coughs> Let's get that trapped wind out. Nice. Oh, as if on cue. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. She is a good girl. So she's had a burp. So that's all the wind come out because obviously the way that she eats, um, trying to keep her head down, etc. She's yeah, not got proper proper functions so she obviously pushes air down with her food and yeah there you go what do you reckon Daniela? Like a baby. yeah like a baby like a baby you got to burp a baby <laughs> so she's a baby she's always going to be a baby now she's eternal baby, eternal baby. Mm. so you're gonna have a bit of a walk then Looney a better walk than you had for me this morning She's tired, as you could see, she was falling asleep. Falling asleep with her breakfast, so. Basically, it's absolutely roasting now. It's probably upper 20s. It's only just turned eight o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, hopefully she'll have a little bit of a walk now. And after she's had a walk, she'll go for a snooze in the garden until midday. And then she gets gruel again at midday. Then a mid-afternoon walk, hopefully having some toilet breaks. And then she has a tea sort of between five and six o'clock. But she has a bit of a walk again before that. So, yeah, that's kind of the rundown of the day. In the evening, she has a toilet break before bed. And then usually off to bed sort of eight, half eight, nine o'clock. Has a bit of a cuddle. I'm sure we'll get some cuddles in later. She enjoys her cuddles. And she can do good walking, but it really depends on what state of mind she's in. Sometimes she walks to the left, sometimes she walks to the right, sometimes she just walks forwards. Sometimes she doesn't want to walk at all. Sometimes she walks like a crab. Both sides. Yeah, both sides. It all depends what's happening in that little brain of hers, unfortunately. Um, she is due to be in season, so whether she is sort of in season or not in season, so obviously we never got round to having her de-sexed um, because it all happened within a day, the brain injury and the fits and everything. So she's never out of our sight. She's never going to, you know, menace us at the chop. She's in the house all the time. It's, yeah, it's not fair on her to go through a surgery like that, which she probably wouldn't make it anyway with the anaesthetic. So, yeah, so she does have her seasons every um, every six months. And when she comes into season, her faculties do tend to go a little bit. And then after, she's a little bit better. But Come on, Looney. Walkie's time. Come on with your big bat ears. Come on. Come to the foot stumps. So sh she has been registered blind by the vet pretty much so I think she probably sees light and dark but not a lot more than that um, but yeah she does walk to when you talk to her and she follows you and stomping so she obviously has got some degree of hearing maybe better hearing than she would have had if she had full vision um, yeah and stomping obviously vibrations etc <laughs> She's set herself down in the garden now for a morning snooze. Like I said, she'll um, be awake again around midday-ish. 
maybe a little bit before for a walk and then have some gruel. But she's got a nice little spot here in the shade with some breeze coming through. And um, she's got a view of the South Pacific. So other than having a brain injury, doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, so as you saw, she wasn't really up for walking this morning. Probably something to do with coming into season. And she's obviously very tired as well, falling asleep whilst eating. So she's surrounded by her bears. Now she's going to have a little bit of a snooze. With this nice breeze coming through. Aren't you, Looney? Yeah, look, she's going. She's gone. So sometimes we do other things and activities to include her. Not every day is just walking in the garden and snoozing and eating. Um, we do mix it up a bit. Obviously the standard day-to-day -day is what it is and generally 75% of the time this is how she stroke we live. Um, yeah, he does love going down the beach and going for a swim though. But yeah, not every day. Hello Luna. Mum. Yeah, you've got to help yourself now. Come on. Come on. Hello. 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 Hello, Batty Batty. Hello. Hello. Is it time for your lunchtime walkies? Hmm. Let me have some gruelly. Come on then. So some fluids for lunchtime. Keep that head down so that we don't get fluids going into her lungs. Go on, Looney Loo. Good girl. And then we'll see if we can have another little walk with her after. So if you saw the way that she uh, went to the toilet there, that's usual for ones and twos. Oh, oh. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Clearly not finished. She might have a third one yeah. instead of her latest right. thing. Second or third one. <laughs> oh dear. But because she's drinking gruel, I don't want to get it off my leg. Because she's drinking a lot of gruel, um, she doesn't have access to water obviously we give her water with a syringe etc um, but her urine's very concentrated so if we don't wash it off on the grass then um, yeah it just leaves dead patches on the grass because it's got high high nitrate levels high ammonia so she's had her two wheeze now half of it on my leg so let's have a little bit of a walk and then she can have some gruel may even have a poo poo Brilliant, Looney. Well done. Inside of my left leg. Really making a calf right in front of the camera.
Your sleeping beauty. Sleeping beauty. Ooh. Oh, you hear me, sleeping beauty. You hear me? You hear me? You want to go walkies? You want to go walkie walkies? Hello, darling. Okay. You want to go walkie walkies? You want to go and do some walkie walkies? You want to go and do some walkie walkies? My little walkie. My beautiful little angel. Looney, I think the chef is coming. Looney, I hear movement. Oh, pretty pink slippers. <laughs> They're not slippers. Inesasage! Inesasage! It's time for food, Looney. Mm. Yeah. Come on, you know you're in your happy place. <laughs> Come on then. That will get stuck in her mouth. Kiki's going to see what you got. <laughs> so this is evening meal now then. Let's go and see what she's got. <laughs> Let's go and see what she got. She's got her bib on. That's what she got. So she's going to have her usual growl. And then we got a beautiful evening meal of banana, peanut butter, some dog biscuits in there, some dog food, and vitamin pills. What's the vitamin pills? Talk me through your vitamin pills. Fish oil, multivitamin, and the B6 or B12. Yeah. Well, so that's for nervous system. 
Sometimes she gets magnesium or glucosamine, depends. So you've been doing this for over a year now. How's it been for you? Tiring. <laughs> Tiring. So yeah, Daniela's the main caregiver. Obviously, if I'm not working on the house, then I'll help out. But yeah, she does snooze a lot during the day, but there are two main feeding times. So three. Three main feeding times. Morning, lunchtime, and now. And walking times. Yeah, walking times, walking. Yeah, I do walk in as well. <laughs> I don't do you much. Okay. So what's your favourite things about Looney? Looney? Yeah. What's your favourite? Well, just Looney. Yeah. Everything, the whole package. Mm -hmm. Hmm? It's, it's sad, but whatever. It is what it is. It's nothing specifically about her physical presence that you like yeah. or her personality. Her bat ears. Yeah, he bites my fingers sometimes. When she bites your fingers. When I feed her, he draws blood. Mm, you like that, do you? <laughs> no, obviously not. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's let Daniela get on with the feeding because she's not one for small talk. So that's yet another successful banquet. I just clean up everything like I usually do. <laughs> he <laughs> so, never does. This is my usual task, cleaning everything up. And Daniela's going to have a little walkies with uh, Looney. Got to change your footwear, <laughs> which, which will, easier. which will apparently improve the quality of the walking <laughs> because it's. <laughs> she's put her noisy clogs on now. Post tea, snoozy with her papa. We like to like to watch the sunset together. Setting over the South Pacific there. Summer, summer straight. Maybe she's just woken up from her snooze. So I take it she needs a toilet break. So go on then. Time for toilet break and then it'll be bedtime. <laughs> Beauty, <laughs> beauty, we're having a number two. <laughs> she wanted a number two. Oh dear. Well, let's see if she can have a number one <laughs> and then she'll get her nappy and go to bed. <laughs> beauty. Well done, Looney. So, so we only got a number two. Didn't get a number one. She's getting her nappy for the night. Potentially, if she's um, restless in an hour or so, then uh, we might get her up and take her out, see if she wants to go for a wee. But generally, she'll go to bed now and she'll um, sleep through to the morning. And then pretty much when you pick her up and take her outside, you drop the nappy off. And within about two or three minutes, she'll go for a wee wee and a, and a poo. So it's only um, precautionary. So she doesn't mess up her bed, but she's a good girl, really. Mother doesn't think it. Of course, they do. <laughs> of course, they do. Poor, poor little baby. <laughs> Excuse the state of the house. <laughs> We're all kind of living in one room at the moment whilst I try and finish the bedroom renovations. 
surrounded by her teddies. And now she'll, um, yeah, where the video started basically. This is, um, this is where she's uh, going to spend the rest of the night. Apparently she's going to get some water now. So she's going to get a little bit of water because she's thirsty after a walk in. Oh. And again, trying to keep the head down so that the fluids don't go into the lungs. And uh, yeah, apparently according to the vet, that's probably one of the most common ways that a dog like this would go is because of uh, pneumonia from getting fluid on the lungs. So but yeah, she needs to have water as well as her food and her gruel. But that's pretty much it. So that's a day in the life of Luna. Looney Lou, Lunushka, Wookie. Girl of many names. Good night, Looney.